Molave, officially known as the Municipality of Molave, is a first-class municipality in the province of Sambuanga del Sur, Philippines. According to the 2015 census, it has a population of 52,006 people. The name Molave refers to the hard, strong and resilient tree that abounded in the place during the 1950s. It can also refer to the wood of Vitex cofasis and Vitex parviflora. Molave was created through the efforts of Congressman Juan Alano, as a daughter municipality of Aurora by the Republic Act No. 286 on June 16, 1948. Molave is located in the eastern part of the province of Sambuanga del Sur. It has a total land area of 21,685 hectares. Molave was designated as the new capital of the province of Sambuanga when it was created on June 16, 1948. Molave was its capital until Sambuanga's division into Sambuanga del Norte and Sambuanga del Sur. Molave became part of Sambuanga del Sur with the town of Pagadayan as its capital. Geography This section does not cite any sources. Please help improve this section by adding citations to reliable sources. Unsourced material may be challenged and removed. August 2019, learn how and when to remove this template message. Molave is located in the northeastern part of the province of Sambuanga del Sur, at the foot of a verdant hill and is bounded by the Salug Dihut River and mountain ranges that keep it free of typhoons. It is bordered by the municipalities of Tumbulag in the east, Mahayag in the west, Josefina, and province of Sambuanga del Norte in the north and Ramon Magsaysay in the south. It is approximately 38 kilometers, 24 and NBSP, me from the provincial capital Pagadayan City and 58 km, 36 and NBSP, me, to Ozamis City. It is situated at longitude 123 deg 29 minutes 50 sec, latitude 7 deg 5 minutes 50 sec and is 15 meters, 49 and NBSP, foot, above sea level. Topography Molave is divided into two topographical areas. The lowland area which covers 30% of the total land area is composed of nine barangays and is situated in the east and southwest portion. It is generally flat, swampy, and marshy. The upland portion which covers 70% of the total land area is hilly and mostly deforested. The terrain and slope pattern is moderately sloping to rolling with two slope variations from 10% in the lowland to 27% in the mountainous areas. Two types of soil are found within the municipality. In the lowland areas and part of the upper barangays, the type of soil is San Miguel silt loam. It is best suited for cultivation and requires only simple and good farm management practices. Atoyan clay loam is found in the upland areas, and can be used for grazing and diversified crops like corn, cassava, and camote. Climate As shown in the climatology map of PAG ASA, Molave is of the fourth type, where rainfall is evenly distributed throughout the year. The area has an average temperature of 29.7 and NBSP, degree C, 85.5 and NBSP, degree F. Barangays Molave is politically subdivided into 26 barangays. Alicia Ariosa Bagong Rgao Bagong Gutlung Blancia Bago Capilaran, Kulo, Dalon, Dipolo, Dontulon, Ganasan, Lower Damalaneo, Pablo Bayanting Sr., Lower Dimorak, Mabuhe, Matasigan, Poblacion, Makugihan, Poblacion, Maloloian, Poblacion, Milligan, Parison, Risal, Santo Rosario, Silangit, Samata, Sudlan, Upper Dimorak, Masakit. History. This section does not cite any sources. Please help improve this section by adding citations to reliable sources. Unsourced material may be challenged and removed. August 2019, learn how and when to remove this template message. The Subanans were known to be early inhabitants of the area. 
Molave began in the early 1930s as a small settlement in a marshy jungle known originally as Salug. The fertile land in the Salug Valley attracted more settlers from Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao, making it an ethnic mix of Cebuano, Boholano, Ilongo, Tagalog, Ilocano, Litano, Misamisnon, Surajayanan and different Muslim and other ethnic groups. Many Chinese and Filipino businessmen settled in the region before World War II. The continuous influx of people from different places made possible the rapid development of this small settlement. On June 16, 1948, Molave became a municipality by virtue of Republic Act No. 286 authored by Congressman Juan S. Alano. Dr. Pelagio Blancia was the first mayor by appointment. He was defeated in the 1951 local elections and the newly elected mayor Javier Ariosa transferred the seat of government from Camp 7, now Baranga y Blancia, to its present site. Dr. Pelagio Blancia's son, Dr. Ramon Blancia, Sr. is married to Encarnacion Blancia, who came from the Ortega clan of Negros, and also became mayor of the town. Irenio Lolo y Clapa is the incumbent mayor. Clapa once became the youngest and longest serving vice mayor of Molave. He was unopposed for two terms as a vice mayor before being elected overwhelmingly in the May 2010 election. Demographics Population Census of Molave Year Pop Plus or minus percent PA 1960-38,568 and NBSP, and NBSP, and NBSP, and NBSP, 1970 source Philippine Statistics Authority Economy This section does not cite any sources. Please help improve this section by adding citations to reliable sources. Unsourced material may be challenged and removed. August 2019, learn how and when to remove this template message. Gross sales of registered firms PHP 1,358,640,795. Total capitalization of new businesses, 2015, PHP 150 million. Growth of the total capitalization of new businesses, 2014-2015, 286.9%. The town is the hub of commerce and trade in the Salug Valley area. Rice trading, milling, and farming are the major agricultural industries, while glass and aluminum are major non-agricultural businesses in the area. Its rice supplies the Mindanao and Visayas areas, and even Metro Manila. The towns of Mitsalip, Sominote, Ramon Magsaysay, Aurora, Mahayag, Josefina, Dumingig, Sergio Osmina, Don Victoriano, Tumbulug, Bonifacio, and Tangub City all converge to this bustling town due to its proximity much cheaper goods and commodities than some major cities like Ozamiz City and Pagadian City. Goldilocks and Jollibee Corporation have branches in this town. Metrobank, PNB, Land Bank, First Consolidated Bank, First Valley Bank, LTMPC, Pagom, RFC, and Salug Valley Rural Bank are some of the financial establishments in this town. The municipality also has other mall-type establishments like Juanita Enterprises. Ajis Lechen Monarch is based in this town with its dressing plant located in Mabuhe, Samboanga del Sur. Agriculture The municipality is basically an agricultural community, 91.85% of the total land area is devoted to agriculture. 1,378.5 hectares of fertile land is fully irrigated and planted with rice. Other agricultural crops are corn, coconut, cassava, banana, 
camote and various kinds of vegetables. These are produced within the locality and marketed to neighboring towns and cities, and even reach to Cebu. There are 23 farmer cooperatives within the municipality, of which 19 are registered and 4 are not registered, with a total of 7,566 farmer members. However, the commerce and industry activity of the municipality is fast developing due to its strategic location making it the hub of commerce and trade of the Salug Valley area. Various large commercial and industrial establishments are sprouting within the populated area which are attracting more investors to engage in business within the municipality. Health The municipality has 10 existing barangay health stations, one lying in, maternity, clinic, 26 health and nutrition posts and a municipal health center, staffed by one rural health physician, one dentist, one sanitary inspector, three nurses and 11 midwives. It has three private hospitals, five private clinics, ten pharmacies, and two funeral chapels. Lumapas Hospital, Salug Valley Medical Center and Blancia Hospital are located in this bustling town with modern facilities. Molave and Salug Valley's first and oldest funeral service provider is the Valley of Angels Memorial Chapel. It is located at Gilan Street, Molave, has been in service for more than 50 years, and has a branch in the municipality of Dumingig. Seal Ryan Funreal Homes is also based in this town. Sports and Recreation Sporting facilities include a municipal gymnasium, three tennis courts, four basketball courts, three volleyball courts and a sports complex facility of the Molave Regional Pilot School. The municipal plaza provides recreation with a playground area and a landscaped tourism spot. A pylon stands at the heart of the plaza to serve as a landmark. A driving range golf course is located 4 kilometers away from the town in Barangay Parison. Ariberta Springs is a favorite attraction located at BRGY, Duan, Mahayag, formerly part of Molave. The town has various hotels and pension houses such as Vine Molave, Courtyard Business Hotel, Alexandra Hotel. Casa Maria Pension, Guest House, and RJYM offer modern amenities to visitors. Mercury Drugs has its branch in this town. Realina Suites and Hotel offers modern amenities in the hospitality business. Molave has a spa and gyms. Nightlife is fun, with La Pergola Cafe, which offers delicious and affordable Italian cuisine, located at the second floor of the Courtyard Business Hotel in Risal Avenue, Molave. In the summer of 2016, Vine Café Molave opened and offers dishes including dessert fraps, sparkling fizz juices and satisfying food. The resto bar is open at night in Alexandra Hotel near the municipality's plaza. Barbecue stands and karaoke stalls are located at the back of Molave Gymnasium. Peace and Order The Molave Municipal Police Station has two PCOs and 24 PNCOs serving the populace. This station has two outposts slash detachments situated at Baranga East Dipolo and Sudlan. Molave is generally peaceful with a crime efficiency rate of 95% and 160 crime incidents reported as of 2007, a decrease of 5% or 8 crime incidents compared to 2000 and SIXS or a recent year's 168 crime incidents. The presence of the 10th Infantry Battalion of the 1st Infantry Division stationed at Baranga Ibagong RGAO and the 906th Provincial Mobile Group have helped in keeping a peaceful environment for the whole municipality and the Salug Valley area. Education As a center of education and culture, there are four private schools, 23 public and one private elementary school, six primary schools, five secondary schools and two, one private and one public tertiary schools. To meet the growing needs of young Malavanians for quality basic education, the LGU shouldered an equity of P600,000 for a six-room, two-story TEP building for MRPS. At MVTS another six-room, two-story SIDIP building and a two-room science laboratory have been built for P6.8M, with 10% equity put up by the joint efforts of the LGU and the PTCA whose president happens to be Mayor Sainil. This linkage dates back to a time long before MVTS Principal Dr. Linda M. Sainil assumed the leadership of MVTS. 
All Baranga Elementary and Secondary Schools have also been recipient of TEP slash SIDIP rehab or construction funds. High Schools Blancia Carian College Foundation, Inc. High School Department Malay Vocational Technical School, MVTS Parison National High School Sacred Heart Diocesan School Samata National High School Colleges Blancia Carian College Foundation, Inc. Josephina H. Cyril State College, Malave Campus. Our Lady of Triumph Institute of Technology, Malave. Western Mindanao State University, External Studies Unit, Malave. Sambuanga del Sur Maritime Institute of Technology.